If I have to start my wardrobe from scratch, here are seven pieces that I will be buying immediately. Before we get into this video, I wanted to say thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring. This video was actually recommended by one of you guys. I asked for video recommendations on Instagram and one of you asked if I lost all my clothes, what would I repurchase to start building up my wardrobe again? Obviously seven pieces is really basic and very tiny for even a capsule wardrobe. I think if I had to like sit down and buy all these pieces at once. I want to do it cost effectively, but also things that I know once I start incorporating other kinds of things into the closet will still stand the test of time. I really like this idea for a video too because it has nothing to do with trends. It is solely based on what I wear every day and it is very personal, but maybe if you feel like something's lacking in your wardrobe, maybe you're looking to restart, this video could give you some inspo. I don't want to just say like, you're gonna need a pair of jeans. I'm gonna give you very, very specific recommendations. If you feel like I've been sitting down a lot and not doing a lot of outfit videos, I just filmed a hot weather lookbook and the outfits were so cute but this was the quality of the video. Something was wrong with my equipment that day, obviously, so I had to scratch the video. I'll be refilming it, but I have to like first mourn the loss and then I can redo it. Fully forget that video. First thing that was so easy for me to pick, and this can gear towards summer or more like fall, not necessarily winter. Um, I would have to buy like a winter jacket, obviously, because I live in Michigan, but let's just do it. First thing that I would purchase that I can literally wear year round are a pair of Levi's 501s. And I feel like 501s are so basic. They were so trendy at one point and now they're not really like the it gene anymore, but they are definitely a staple in so many people's wardrobes. 501s to me are perfect because you can dress them up or dress them down. I would probably get a lighter wash just because that's what I tend to wear more day to day. I really don't dress up often, but I still think you can dress up a light wash denim. The bottom is really great because while they can be pretty baggy if you like buy a size or two up. They can also fit a little bit more high-waisted and snug and almost more like tapered bottom. You can cuff the bottom to get a totally different look. You can do that like now I would call it a TikTok hack where you loop the button over the first belt loop and then button them and then you get like a high-waisted or snug feel. I do this with my jeans all the time because I tend to buy them a little bit bigger so I can wear them low-waisted but sometimes I want that high-waisted look without having just a pair of jeans that are high-waisted so I always do that but 501s to me are the perfect they can be baggy they can be oversized but also we can look at them a little bit more fitted and tailored I also like 501s because they're so easy to get secondhand any type of jeans I feel like buying jeans new I don't know I really do like Madewell jeans but again you can find like the specific styles on like Depop, Poshmark, eBay just look up the exact style you're looking for especially if you already know you like the size and stuff like that go into the a Levi's store and try on a bunch of 501s, figure out what size and if you like, then start looking that way. I just did like a quick search for Levi's 501s and they're all around like the $30 mark. So I will be like saying price points because I feel like that's important. So $30 for a pair of like 100% cotton denim jeans. So good. You can dress them up, dress them down. I just like talked for five minutes about a pair of jeans. Next thing, so basic, but I wear these too often. They're my go-to and I have so many, but a pack of of Hanes children t-shirt. Now I know that this won't work for everybody, but in my head, it's just sizing down. I think it's just sizing down like one or two sizes because I would say I'm probably like a women's small and then I get a children's extra large. So if you think it goes women's small, women's extra small, and then women's extra large or children's extra large. It's like two sizes down. You can get these at Target. You can thrift little white t-shirts all the time. I found like new packs of Hanes t-shirts at the thrift store, secondhand obviously, but you can get a six pack of these little Hanes t-shirts for $9. Are they my favorite white t-shirt ever? No. I think my favorite white t-shirt ever is from Mate the Label. I've worked with them before and the quality is amazing. It's a little bit more pricey, but it's a really good fabric and you know you're getting your money's worth. But if I have to to restart my wardrobe, I need more than just one white t-shirt. I'm gonna first go to the Hanes pack of t-shirts and start from there. Hanes white t-shirts, again, dress them up, dress them down, layer them. Okay, this is kind of random, but I reach for this dress so often and I know polka dots are trending right now. Polka dots are also just like, I hate the word timeless, but 
a timeless pattern. It's like stripes, it's like plaid. You really can never go wrong with it. So for me, if I had to get just one sundress and I wear my sundresses all the time, I would get this polka dot sundress again from Simple Retro. It's right now, it's on sale for $33.61. So that's what I'm writing it down as. It actually was gifted to me way before I even worked with them. I love this polka dot sundress. So that would definitely make it back in my closet immediately because I love pairing, like I would put the Hanes t-shirt over it and I think that's adorable. I love wearing it on its own. Love wearing it with sneakers, with loafers, with sandals, my fisherman sandals that you guys didn't get to see in my like newest um, outfits video because it was destroyed. But these little fisherman sandals are from Old Navy. I wear them 24 seven. I didn't include them in this video because I just got them maybe like two or three months ago. And I got them as water walker shoes like for camping to walk in the lake and I've been wearing them every single day. So I didn't include them because I don't really know how much I like them yet, but I mean, I do know how much I like them, but I just felt like I couldn't exactly repurchase them now. My mom got them. She already bought her second pair because she was like, when they break, I need to have a backup. That's how, like, they're just so easy. Okay, the fisherman sandals didn't make the cut, but the shoe that did for what I would be immediately repurchasing, it's a Samba. I just love my Samba so much and I try to retire them. I try to stop wearing them. I love this narrow silhouette on a sneaker. I think like the dad sneaker, I really tried to like it and tried to wear it, but it's just not for me on an everyday basis like a Samba is. Like elementary school and middle school, I always wore pumas i really liked like the seed cat is that the style it was like very narrow sneakers i've always liked that i've never liked a chunky sneaker the sambas are for me i think the colorway i would get for the samba this time around if i i like lost all mine and i got to repurchase i would still get a black pair but i would get a black pair with a different color stripe because i really don't like a white sneaker i feel like it's very jarring on so many outfits if anything like a colored sneaker almost feels more neutral to me than a white sneaker it's just so bright even when they're dirty so sometimes the white stripes on the black sambas just are too jarring to me which is like i'm so picky you guys so i think like black sambas with green stripes or blue stripes just something else i'll have to find some pictures because i don't even know if they really exist i would get sambas again i wear them all the time and i don't know i have to okay in this scenario i'm imagining i'm losing all of my accessories too so if i didn't have any of my sunglasses any of my jewelry anything like that i would buy these sunglasses again from sad eyewear i think that they are just so chic especially like with my bangs i give this like very 60s mod feel um i think sunglasses like save an outfit so often because I'm somebody who's like really bad at accessorizing I just like forget to put those things on or I'm in a rush so I don't think to put on my belt on my necklace on my you know all those things since sunglasses are practical I will always throw these on I actually don't have them on me right now because they're in my car but I normally always have them in my purse or in my car because I love them so much I have them in two colorways too because I love them so if I lost those I would be getting them again they're 40 bucks which for sunglasses is like middle of the range and I've worn them so many times I know my cost per wear is probably like pennies okay this one is so like <laughs> I, I really haven't been hot about it a lot but my wardrobe that I made for this or the capsule that I'm like creating is so neutral that I was like, I need like a pop of color and at least I have the polka dots to add some like flair in that, but I needed something more. This mohair cardigan, I think I would be repurchasing it. It's just so cute and it is something that I will throw on like over my crew necks, over my hoodies because it's easy to take on and off and like over just a, the white t-shirt would be perfect. Obviously if this wardrobe was geared a little bit towards more like winter or even fall, I would have to pair it over like a, a sweatshirt or a sweater or something else but I love this mohair sweater so much it's actually from South Africa my so first of all my brother went with his girlfriend for Christmas <laughs> She has a couple of these sweaters and every time I see them, I'm like, oh my God, I want one of these sweaters. I want one of these sweaters. So my brother had to go back for work. He made it to the shop and he FaceTimed me when he was there and I was like, yeah, I want that one. And so he picked it out. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but you guys, these are expensive. This is $250. This would be a major splurge, but it's something that I look at and it's so special to me now because it's, it's cool that it's from there. And I would definitely miss it if I didn't have it and layering it over again, like even the polka dot dress, it would work. All these pieces work together and that was what was really important when 
uh, deciding what I would have to repurchase. And I don't wear it right now because it's hot outside, but I was wearing it up until like the last moment I could um, this spring. Okay, and the last thing I would repurchase because I feel like my clothes in this hypothetical wardrobe are so casual would be my little Sperry Topsiders little boys loafers. I can't believe I have two items that are like technically little boys or like big boys. I love these loafers so much. They actually are my second pair. I had a brown pair and then I sold them to one of you guys on a whatnot show and then I bought the black pair to replace them. I wish I kept the brown pair because I loved them so much. I should have just kept both pairs, but in my head I was like, I can't keep both. That's like obnoxious. I am obnoxious, so like I just need to accept it sometimes. These loafers, I found them on, no, I looked up what I paid for my second pair and it was $30, but the first pair I found thrifting in person in Chicago and I think I paid around like six or seven dollars for them. So it just depends, you know, what I find them for. I don't think they sell them new on Sperry's anymore, but I'm just marking it at $30 because that's what I paid for the second pair on Poshmark and I would definitely repurchase them. Silhouette, they go with jeans, they go with sundresses, especially with like a little frilly pair of socks, like so cute. I'm not including socks and undies and bras, like like, I really hope I would keep those. I don't know why I'm losing my whole wardrobe. Those are the pieces that I would repurchase immediately. I feel like this really shows what I dress like in real life and not online. I try not to like make the two super different. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I post when I can like little outfit days of the week, whatever, just like mirror selfies. And those outfits are things I actually wore. I do not alter them at all for the sake of Instagram or anything like that. Yeah, I tend to keep it pretty basic, but I don't know, it works. I think it's cute and I like it. So this is the grand total, 30 plus nine, 39. The grand total will be $492. And like that is a ton of money, <laughs> but I think for starting off a new wardrobe, it wouldn't be too bad. Again, I didn't include purses because I just don't have a purse that I am like so obsessed with. I carry this purse and you guys have probably seen it a ton that I just got off whatnot. But like if I lost that, I could go to the thrift store and find a new purse. Like purses really don't mean that much to me or mean that much to my outfit. So I didn't want to include one just for like the sake of including one because I really don't have one that I, I need to have at all times. I'm pretty open with those kind of things. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your one item that you would go and repurchase and be specific. I don't want to hear a black t-shirt. I want to hear the brand, the size, what year you bought it, and if I can find the same one. Before we end this video, let's talk a little bit about Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website and platform to stand out and succeed online. Squarespace makes building and maintaining a website easy. I love it because I can focus more on the creative aspects and let Squarespace do the heavy lifting. Make it easy to sell your products in an online store. Whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools to sell your products online. Analytics is something that is so important when maintaining and improving your website and your brand, and Squarespace makes analytics easy. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. If your Squarespace account is acting as an online store, the checkout process is so easy for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools. Accept credit cards, PayPal, and Apple Pay, and offer your customers the option to buy now and pay later with Clear Pay and Afterpay. Go to squarespace.com slash Ozark to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain with code Laney Ozark. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you if you in. <laughs> I love you so much, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.